Hey everyone, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between two electric razors. So this will be a comparison video. So anyways, um, this one right here, the one on the left, I got it um, when I was in college. Because, um, my, believe it or not, my f fourth razor I had died. Because I've gone through four of these. This is my fifth one, because trust me, these things just aren't meant to last long. So, yeah, and I've had this one for, I'm trying to remember, two years. Yeah. And then the one on the right, I just got a few weeks ago. Just because it's always good to have a backup. And also, whatever area of my face I miss when I'm shaving, I always use this one. Just because it's helpful. So, yeah. I've done a comparing video on a razor before. I did one back in 2016. That was different, though. I had an electric razor in that video, but it was a different type. My original model had um, a charging dock where you could put it on there instead of plugging it in like these ones. And that one I had the longest, actually, believe it or not. I had that one for, I'm trying to remember. I've had that one for five years. Five years. Second electric razor I had for, let me think. No, it actually, the first first razor I've had, I had that for six years. Yeah, six years. Second razor I had for two years. Third razor I had for, um, I'm trying to remember. Um, let's think. I'd say about, sorry, I'm having trouble remembering. Oh, wait, I just remembered, um, I've had, um, my, my third razor, I had that one for, um, three years. Yeah, three years, I've had that one. Fourth razor I had, which is the last one I had, only had for three months, because that one didn't last long, because it just died after three months. And then the first one I lost charger to, the second, third, and fourth one, they just naturally died. And I couldn't even fix them. Because again, these things aren't meant to last long, so there's a brief, just thought I'd give a brief history about this type of razor right here. Also, my other video I did, I compared a regular razor, which is totally different. And this one definitely reminds me of one right here. So yeah, now... Now for the history, let's get on the comparing. So, obviously, um, the most, most notable similarity about this is that it's got the same detailing, like the texture of this part is smooth, or actually rough, sorry. It's got like a smooth and a rough texture. The sides on this one are rough feeling. This one's smooth. This one's smooth. That's a rough feeling, smooth. Um, and then... The back sides are both black. That's another thing that's the same. Um, and then um, the chargers are the same right here. Only difference is this one's longer and this one has like a, f uh, a fatter, I think I'm trying to think, a more fatter cord block. This one is a little shorter and it's skinny. As you can see, it's a, it's a skinny block because this one's a little shorter. This one's longer and fatter. So, yeah. But the the charging end and the end of this cord right here, like the, where you plug it in, that's the same, though. And then, um, I'm trying to think what else to say. Yeah. So, those are the things are the same. There are multiple, couple differences. Um, Wait, another thing that's the same, I forgot, the charging end's the same, actually, the, where you plug in the charging parts. That's the same. Now on to the differences. Um, actually, another thing that's the same, I forgot to point out, is the color. Or actually, the color's different. This one's black and gray. This one's black and green. This one's got a, bla a small black button. This one has, like, a... 
a long, um, I mean, a, a skinny silver button, which I'm going to, and they both have a different sound, which I'll show you. Hang on, i got to take the shields off to give it a better sound. This one's more quieter. I'll show you the head spinning. That's the cool part. And then this, it's got a little bit more noise to it. It's like a barbershop razor. Yeah, it sounds like a barbershop razor if you hear that. So yeah, it's a, a noticeable difference. Another difference, this one is three round, uh, three round heads on it. This one is a flat head on it since it's a one blade. This is a three blade. Well, actually a four blade because it has a tremor technically, which it makes a different sound. I'll show you. Yeah, this trimmer does work, but I got this one because it's better. So yeah. And then when you put it, push it back in, it makes it goes back to the regular sound. It's got the flick, which is what I like about this. It flicks. You flick it open. So yeah. Now on to the inside of the razor. Um, this one. I do apologize, that's dirty on the inside just because I've been using it. Obviously, you got to clean them both, otherwise they don't work. I don't know if you can see it in there. Sorry if it's dark. So, yeah. And then this one, it just, this one just pops off its head right here. And it makes a different sound without the heads, which is the cool part. Yeah, that's actually the cool part without it. This one's also got a flick, a flick switch you push up. Hang on, let me get the head back on. Sorry, I gotta set my camera on, it's hard to do this one handed. Okay. There you go, got it back on. This one you can take apart completely, like this little piece right here. I'll show you it right here. I just gotta set my camera down, then I can show you. First you untwist this, pull that off, and then you take the three heads out. Which they gotta be replaced every 12 months. Of course, these are the motor parts right here. The how this is the uh, the razor. I'd say the I must say the housing. I don't I don't know the specific type, but I believe this is the holder. That's what I think it is. I don't know the specific type. So yeah. And then okay, on to the next one. Right. Shields are some obviously different. This one's a rectangular style. This one's like a small like clip. You just clip it on like that. This one you attach on, which I'll give an example. First I got the head back on. This one right here, because this one you take apart. And I'm going to show the chargers too in a little bit, how they run. <sighs> Sorry, the, the thing that holds the, the, mold, the heads in place, this is a little tricky to put on at times, so I apologize. Bear with me. Okay. There we go. Got it back on. It's easy to twist on, easy to twist off, like that. And 
this attaches like that for a sec. I'll show it just like this. And then you can close it. And then this thing I reattached already. But I'll show it again in case you missed it. Like that. And then the shield, let's see. This goes on like that. And then this goes on like this. Now I'm going to show you the other parts it comes with. This is an extra head in case the other one gets worn out because you got to replace it every 12 months. And then these are the combs. This is for the face, these three right here, the face combs. Or the facial comb, sorry. They're all similar except this these two are a little bit bigger and more chubby look, and this one's small. And then this one's for the body, these two. Right here. Which I'm not really gonna I don't need to use it, but I have it in case. And then I use, generally use those three heads right there. Or the comb, sorry. <laughs> now I'm going to plug in the chargers and show them how they charge. I'll switch both out. Okay, this one right here, it's the long one. Oops, sorry, I got to get that cord out. There you go. I'm just going to tear it out again. This is for the uh, disc razor. So I'm going to plug it in. When the light's blinking, it means it's charging. This one blinks white. I mean, this one blinks white when it's charging. When the light stays still, when the light's blinking, it means it's charging. When it stays still, it's almost done charging. And then when it turns off, it's done charging. And you can actually use this while plugged in. Which is a cool feature on this because um, cause I can just use this while I'm shaving instead of having to stop and charge every couple seconds like this one. Because this one I can't use unplugged in. So yeah. In fact, some of the models I had had this feature. Some of them do not, did not. This one I know doesn't have that feature, but it's alright though. I'll, I'll have a charge in case if I ever need it use it as like a back in case if I need this because this is a backup razor in case that one dies this one I won't this one I don't use it much I just use it for um I'm trying to think what do I use it for yeah any area of my face I mess I just use that because it works and, but this is the main razor I use so yeah and then Obviously, another difference is this one's this one's definitely chubby looking. This one's skinny. Now I'm gonna plug in the other one. Okay. Show you how that one works. All right. So this is how you plug it in. When it's blinking green means it's charging. If it's orange, I believe um, if it's orange, it's charging. Green means it's almost done charging. And if it stops blinking, then it's done charging. Because this will turn orange when it needs to be charged. <coughs> same, same thing with this one. And they obviously, and both of them have the feature where they blink if it needs to be charged. This one I don't need to charge much, so I'm not going to use it as much. But I will, though, if I really need to use this, since it is a backup, after all. So, yeah. And there you have it. I will end my video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.